fly 747 high I'm never choking, steady smoking like that Devin guy Or is it Wiz player, you know what it is I just rolling up with that fire and I take it to the wind Now I'm high as shit, high as shit And I'm rolling slow And I grab the Sprite, grab the Sprite And pull up some more Sipping Texas champagne Blowing California dro Yes, your pie no sicko, man I got that Arizona flow All the smoke is that potent weed Also burning that platinum wax YouTube, what's good? It's your boy GZ 2.3 Coming at you with another vid You already know the deal Hit that like, that subscribe And that notification bell So you're notified anytime your boy GZ uploads some content Shout out to my real ones I'll pray for my fake ones I hope everyone had a blessed day today and as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail wait no longer your boy GZ is about to bring a serious serious grail to this channel today um, I'm real excited about this guys I'm gonna do a real quick review because I know there's a lot of reviews out there I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison to another Jordan one and uh, let's just get into this guys man so as you guys can see right over here off to my right your guys is left my right I got that uh, Jordan 1 Nike box right there. It's a red one. You know what I'm saying? They came with a different one on this. So I'll go ahead and read the style code on this. The style code is Air Jordan 1 High 85. The colorway is Varsity Red, Black, Varsity Red. Yes, sir. We got them 85s on deck. So let's get into this. We're going to go through a little bit of a quality control on this. Um, I did purchase this through GOAT. As you guys can see, my box did come a little dinged up, but I'm not worried about it because who gives a fuck about a box? Um, goat did send a sticker, a goat sticker on there, you know what I mean? Um, and you got your little quality card so it checks out, everything that's checked on there. Um, let's get to the, let's take the shoes out real quick, and then I want to go over some of the stuff that's inside, and then we'll get into the shoes, guys. So... If you get a pair from GOAT or from anyone you're purchasing, you should get this kind of paper right here. It's like a real like thin tissue paper. It has a Jumpman, it has a 23, and then it has a Wings logo on it in that red, in that Varsity red. So let's set the paper off to the back right here. It did come with two duster bags. Now, I did put, now I know you guys are asking me why I put these bags in this plastic Ziploc bag. I will get into that later on in the video. Um, but this number pair that I got is, let's open this up real quick so you guys know what number I got. Because these are numbered pairs. And this is going to be number 388. I don't know if you guys can see that. Excuse the lighting. But this is number 388. So... You get two duster bags in there with uh, the Nike Air branding on it. Let's throw that off to the side, to the back, back there. And then you get here's your other one, same thing, white laces and then metal tips on there. Okay, guys. And then on the inside of the box, you should have this uh, quality control sticker right here. And I don't really know what that means. I've heard a lot of different stories that it's, you know, it's for... Uh, like high quality materials and all that, but I'm not sure what it actually stands for. But you should have your box should just look just like that. So with that being said, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Your boy Jeezy is smiling from ear to ear because I am so happy to have this in the collection. I cannot believe that I have this in my hand, guys. And let's just take an overall look at it real quick so you guys can take a look on how dope this fucking shoe is, guys. So, getting into the into the, the detailed review, guys, we'll go ahead and we're going to start from the back, and then we're going to work our way to the front. So, as you guys can see, we'll take it to the ass first, guys, pause. And as you guys can see, on most Jordan 1s, you know, you get that pinch. On this right here, not so much, guys. It's more kind of like a vertical up and down, you know what I mean? It's, it's not, it doesn't have that pinch right there on that ass. So, if you guys can see that. Also, one thing that I did notice on how high the cut is from right here around that ankle collar and how short this part is right here. So if you take it over to the side, you know, wraps, red wraps around just like the bread ones. You know what I mean? 
And one thing I did notice on the Wings logo, if you can look at that, guys, this is a different kind of Wings logo. It kind of ha it kind of has like this texture to it. If you if you can see that, it kind of pops up. And I will do a comparison. I have another uh, Jordan one that's right here right now. And as you guys can see, it has this real slick, smooth uh leather on it versus all the tumble leather that we've gotten on the og highs <clears throat> so i know a lot of people were complaining on how the quality was on the leather um they were saying that for you know 200 dollars because this shoe did retail at 200 dollars that it should have came with some real 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 tumble ruski leather um, what they do not know is that most of the shoes that we get that have that tumble ruski is a synthetic leather that it is not a real leather This right here is a full grain leather guys And this is what they used to use back in the 80s on the 85s the original Jordan ones This is the type of leather they would use on it personally myself. I Don't it doesn't really matter as long as the shoe looks good, which in my opinion this shoe is flawless it looks it's a beautiful sneaker um but i'm not really worried about the leather um i rather have real leather personally myself especially full grain leather this is going to last a little bit longer than your tumble leather and stuff i know when it breaks down when you have the tumble leather it looks so much better and it just has all those nice creases and wrinkles and all that stuff on the sneaker but this is going to hold up a lot better Guys, um, as you go to the side right here, you can see you have a black side panel all through the black, just like the breads. You got a, 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 a your swoosh right here in red. And what I notice on this right here too as well, and I'll show you that when I bring out the other sneaker, that this swoosh is a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker than uh, than the, the OG High. Now, as we make our way to the toe box, you guys see it's capped with the red all the way around the toe box. And then on the inside of the toe box right here, you got that black with that same smooth leather. Smooth leather all the way around, guys. It's that sleek looking leather, which is a little, it's a little, like I said, if you're going to try, if you're going to buy this sneaker because you want a soft leather, this ain't the sneaker for you guys. This is, to me, this sneaker was for somebody that was an OG head, just like myself, that never had a pair of Jordan 1s back in the 80s. Like, I, like I've told you guys in, in numerous times in uh, my videos that I've never really had an 85 Jordan. So, as you guys can go inside, um, let's get inside here real quick. Let's take this out. It does come with a bunch of tissue paper for like a shoehorn. So they did not give us like our standard uh, shoehorn. It is laced right now with the red laces. I'll probably gonna do one red and then one black, guys. And um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but something that they used to use uh, that tag in the uh, in '85 when they used to release these guys. So that is a pretty dope uh, uh, dope thing that they added onto that. I thought it was really cool. They came really correct with this uh, sneaker, in my opinion, guys. Um, they made it look to it its original form. And I can respect that, you know. So shout out to Nike and Jordan Brand for putting this sneaker together. I'm really glad I have it in my collection. Another thing that I did notice on this, and when I bring it out here, is the tongue sits a little bit higher than uh, than your OG highs, which is really dope. And you got that you got that uh, nylon uh, tag with the Nike Air branding on it, guys. So you guys can check that out real. quick. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Alright guys, this is a bonus footage right here. Um, this is, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know there's some details on the sneaker that um, that I noticed that I didn't say in the original video. I've had the sneaker for about three days now. And looking at it and wearing it, you know, there are some details that I picked up and I just thought that... You know, you guys should know about them. Um, shout out to Ron G. Ron G asked me a lot of questions about um, the cut, how high it was to the original or to the high OG. So I kind of took my tape measure and everything and I measured it. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'm just going right here and checking out the sneaker, you know, letting you guys know that I have been looking at this. And you can see I have been wearing it. <clears throat> wearing it every day. So it's something to get used to, guys. Um, it is not your typical high OG right here as we get into this um 
I got both uh, sneakers sitting there next to each other so you guys can see, you know, the cuts. You know, um, they are the same height. As you guys can see, though, on the back of the 85, it looks like they used, they pulled up the materials to make them higher, which gives you that illusion that it is higher than the high OG. But in, in all reality, it's really not. As you guys can see, look at the, the wings logo, how different they look. The outside swooshes, you know, the 85 is a little bit thicker, like I was saying in the video. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my tape measure. I'm going to measure the length from the inside to the top. And it looks like it is about, mm, about five, five inches for the high OG. Now let's see what the 85 be like. And the 85 looks like it's about four and a half. So, you know, the high OG is a little bit higher from the inside to the top. And these are supposed to be a higher cut. I'm just letting you guys know this so, you know, you know what you guys are getting. Um, I don't want people to go and I'm going to go and buy this sneaker thing that they're going to get um, a higher cut by buying the 85 you know because these they ain't cheap you know you're gonna buy and resell they ain't cheap and you can see i'm measuring the back of it right here it gets out to about five and three quarters and it's the same with uh the 85 too about five and three quarters nothing different just the difference of the cuts it looks like on the back of the ankle collar that they did go a little bit higher with uh the 85 and nothing different um, I did notice that maybe the midsole on the 85 might be a little bit thicker than the high OG. Maybe a little bit thicker or maybe, I don't know. I'll put them together right here and you guys can see and you guys tell me. But it looks like to me that the 85 is a little bit thicker. <laughs> and you guys can see those swooshes, how much more bigger that. I mean, it's not much more bigger, but another thing I noticed too is the toe box, guys. Uh, the high OG has more of a narrow toe box and you can see the front of the toe how much the leather goes up on the 85 It gives it more of that square look. So you got a square kind of looking sneaker which I'll get into that in a minute um, As far as sizing goes guys Definitely go with your true to size um, wearing these shoes like I told you, here's the tongue right here. You guys can see how much more. Now, that is one thing that is higher than the high OG, and it is the tongue. The tongue is extremely longer, guys. I mean, not even like like talking about it. It's a little bit. It's extremely longer than <clears throat> the high OG. So, you know, that's something to get used to, which it, it does give you that 85. We got the cut to the leather. As you guys can see, everybody wanted to know what leather was thicker and you can see the 85 is not by much, but it is thicker. And I'm telling tell you guys right now, this leather is stiff, guys. Like, it's not going to, it's not going to break loose right away, guys. You're going to have to wear these multiple times before it starts to break loose. You know, maybe around the toe box, it'll break loose, quick, but not around the ankle. You know, um, the shoe's not uncomfortable. Um, like I said, I went with a size 12. Um, so I think I did good by going with a size 12 right here. I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I kind of mentioned it in the video, but I didn't go into detail. Um, it's pretty much like a skew tag that comes out on the outside of your box. Um, but they put it inside the shoe. I think it was a feature that they used to do in, um, 85 or in the eighties with sneakers. <clears throat> and then here's another, this is what I want to talk about. As you can see, the 85 is more narrower than the high OG. And that's what I was telling you about the sizing guys. You want to go with your true to size. Quick, you know, black inside. And then right here on the side, you got your little numbers and all that shit right there. And for, to let you guys know, you guys know that your boy Jeezy is an 11 and a half in Jordan 1s. But I went ahead and I went with a size 12 on here. And no, it wasn't because of pricing. Um, your boy did pay a lot of money for these. Um, we won't even discuss how much I paid. But like I said in my previous video and previous times, if, 
It ain't tricking if you got it, my G. You feel me? So, with that being said, guys, this sneaker overall to me, I mean, is I'm going to give this a 10 just by the overall look of it. Um, when I was telling you guys with the sizing is because this this part right here, as a matter of fact, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to break out the other sneaker so I can show you guys. I'm going to try to grab the same side so we can show you guys. So if you guys look, I got the Royal Toe ones and then I got these right here. If you guys, if I put them next to each other, you guys can see how thick the Royal Toe one is around the footing area right here. How much more thicker it is and how much more narrow the, uh, the 85 Varsity Reds are. And that right there is going to cause problems. So if you're used to going to uh, going down a size on your Jordan 1s, you're definitely not going to want to do that with this shoe. Like I said, I haven't put the shoe on yet. I'm definitely giving you guys that on foot. I, As you guys can see, remember I told you I was going to be rocking that Sneakerhead versus Hype Beast T. You know, shout out to Sneakerhead's clothing line. You know what I'm saying? So I am coming correct with that. But... Like I said, you're definitely going to want to go to your true to size, guys. You don't want to go to size down on these. So I did go ahead and went my true size, which is a size 12. Um, another thing that I noticed, as you guys can see, I'm going to put them right here. As you can see, it's not by much, but this swoosh is a lot bigger than this one right here, as you guys can see. And another thing, if you guys look at the Wings logo, both Wings logos, they're a little bit different. Like I said, this one's like, it pops out. It, you know what I mean? Like you can feel it with with the touch. And this one is more like it's, you know, it's just screen printed on there. You can still feel it, but it's like a screen print. It isn't like, like it is on this one right here. But you guys let me know down in the comments how you feel about this sneaker, guys. Like, what would you rate this sneaker from 1 to 10? And how... How is this on your grail list? Like this was a sneaker. Like I definitely want the bread ones, but this is to me is the next best thing to a bread one because you know it's pretty much the same color. Plus it has that 85 look to it with that sleek, smooth leather because that's what they came with. And I'm gonna break out the other shoe so I can show you some other stuff that's on the other sneaker. I don't want to go too much in a detail review on this because, like I said, there's been many, many, many of uh, reviews on this, but they give you the OG hand tag. That used to come out on the Jordan 1s right there. And it has Jordan, one of the most famous uh, photo shoots in uh, Jordan brand history right here. <clears throat> and it has him, you know, doing his his uh, his Wings logo right there. And, uh, you know, if you open it up, it has the specs on what materials they use to build, to make the shoe. And, and just all the specs that you can see how they did this. Very, very dope in my opinion. I wish they would start bringing that back, um, putting hand tags on the Jordans, which they do with the threes and they do with the fours. But remember, we used to get those cards. I think that they need to start putting those inside the retros again. I thought that was a cool feature when they used to do it. When you used to open up your box, you would have that card. But <clears throat> that's what I think they should start doing a little bit more of this. And overall, man, I am very, 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 very happy to this, uh, to have this sneaker in my collection. You do get another set of laces. Like I said, I'm going to put one black in and one red in, and that's how we're going to roll. Um, now what I was saying about the bags, the duster bags, the reason why I put the duster bags inside, uh, a Ziploc bag guys is that this thing is they're dyed with like a dye that rubs off guys. I mean, so when I got this, the, the sneaker, if you guys go and check out my IG, I, I threw a, a IG video up. It's a real quick video. It's like, I don't know, maybe like a minute and 23 seconds. You can go and check it out and um, you can see the way they put the bags in there and stuff. Luckily, it wasn't touching the shoe, but it did rub off on the paper and the tissue paper that the shoes, because the, the shoes came wrapped up with the tissue paper and put inside the bag, but they weren't like that because they have to do their, their inspection and authenticate it. So they didn't come like that. What they the way they came is the shoes were wrapped up all in bunch with a, a, with the tissue paper, and then these were just sitting on top of the shoes with the paper on it. Which luckily that's the way it was because these will die onto your shoes. So the black will get on the red, and it will also get on the midsole, and it'll just it'll fuck up your whole day. So the, what I did is I grabbed the tissue paper so it keeps that poof to it. I folded it up. And I put it in a big Ziploc bag. Um, 
So you can go hit up Codemaster because he has a bunch of these for his Reggie that he'd be smoking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Code. But yeah, so that's what you, that's what I'm going to do. And then what I'll do is I just stick it inside the Ziploc bag, fold it up, stick it out the bottom of the box. Then I put the Jordan paper on top and then the shoes and then we're ready to go, man. But yeah, man. So, you know, I'm going to give you guys this on foot, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, there's going to be more grails that are coming. Like I said, I got the TS6 is coming. I got the Wings 12s coming, and I also got picked up those Air Max 90 London's, the basement collabs, guys. Those are gonna be some dope sneakers. Look for more sneaker pickups, more sneaker vlogs. I'm, 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 I'm coming correct this year, guys. You know, I know it was a rough beginning of the year for all of us, but especially with me and YouTube and, and, and just personal shit, but I'm on a track to uh, get myself up to 1K, guys. So make sure you share this video, like this video, you know, and let everybody know to come over here and be part of the Jeezy gang, guys. So with that being said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this on foot, man. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for fucking with your boy. Much respect, stay blessed, and on to the next piece. Yeah. Last man standing niggas, no me too. Yeah. I fuck around, be yeah. go break this too. Move. Uh. Uh.